heavyweights Jimmy Jones and Cassius Clay square away. Clay puts on a display of dazzling footwork. In this tournament of champions, Louisville's Clay, 18 years old, small as heavyweights go, outboxes Jones of Gary and piles up the winning points. At Madison Square Garden, the 33rd Intercity Golden Gloves, with top amateurs of New York and Chicago mixing it up. Cassius Clay of Chicago challenges Gary Joyce, the Eastern heavyweight champ, and Joyce is in trouble from the first round on. It's a TKO decision for Cassius Clay, and more points for the Windy City team, which wins 12 bouts out of the card of 16, sponsored by the News Welfare Association for Tournament Honors. Two teenagers tangle in the 175-pound feature. Cassius Clay, 17, of Louisville, in the trunks with the white stripe, meets 18-year-old Jefferson Davis of Mobile, Alabama. Davis takes the fight to the backtracking Clay, but the Louisville sluggers of Bays of Actions make it hard for Davis to find the mark. In the third round, Clay finds a vulnerable spot, Davis's head, and the Kentucky belter sends Davis reeling into the ropes. But the dazed Mobile Mauler shakes off the effects of the punches and fights back gamely. The bell ends the bruising slugfest, and it's Cassius Clay, the winner, over Jefferson Davis. Heavyweights Jimmy Jones and Cassius Clay square away. Clay puts on a display of dazzling footwork. In this tournament of champions, Louisville's Clay, 18 years old, small as heavyweights go, outboxes Jones of Gary and piles up the winning points. Madison Square Garden, the 33rd Intercity Golden Gloves, with top amateurs of New York and Chicago mixing it up. Cassius Clay of Chicago challenges Gary Joyce, the Eastern heavyweight champ, and Joyce is in trouble from the first round on. It's a TKO decision for Cassius Clay, and more points for the Windy City team, which wins 12 bouts out of the card of 16, sponsored by the News Welfare Association for Tournament Honors. In the 178-pound class, another Louisville boy, Cassius Clay, in the dark trunks, is pitted against the All-Army champion, Alan Hudson. Hudson is the Pan American title holder, while Clay is the reigning Eastern Regional champion. As this next to the last fight of the evening gets underway, the fans, who have yet to see any of the bouts stopped by a KO, are clamoring for some explosive action. It looks as if they'll get their wish. Two rights by Hudson set up play for a hammering left that belts him to the canvas. The case is up almost immediately, and after a check by the ref, he's back in action. Now it's time to turn the tables. After a brief flurry by Hudson, it's Clay's chance to go to work. He waves into Hudson and sends him reeling into the corner. Hudson is really groggy and just about out on his feet. Clay's arm is raised in victory, but Hudson's down again this time just because his legs won't hold him up. That doesn't bother Allen. He'd still like the fight to go on. 